Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the delay. We had a few technical glitches, but they have been solved. Uh, I'm Tyler Jackson, the director of the Koch Institute. And for the 16th consecutive year, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the annual Koch Institute Symposium. Uh, I always start in the same fashion. It's a read and response. It's not in your program, but I think you can figure it out. Good morning, everyone. I love that, but it wasn't quite good enough. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's much, much better. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking Phil Sharp and Susan Hockfield, who are the uh, organizers of this year's symposium. It's a very special topic for us on convergence of science and engineering for cancer research. Uh, this is really the lifeblood of what we do at the Koch Institute, the model that we're trying to establish and follow. And we'll be hearing a lot more about that today. Uh, we believe in the power of bringing fields together in the pursuit of new insights and new solutions for cancer, and you'll hear many examples of that over the course of the day. I want to thank our speakers from inside MIT and the Koch Institute and elsewhere at MIT, and also those who are joining us from elsewhere, uh, both the speakers and the panelists. It, it really will be an extremely exciting day of science and engineering and technology and insight, uh, really charting the course, I think, for a new future. Um, I want to also thank those who have supported us financially for this meeting. Um, we have a series of donors, affiliates, collaborators, patrons, friends, and vendors who've contributed to allow us to put this on. Um, I would encourage you to visit the vendor tables out in the breaks and during the lunchtime um, and uh, let them show you their wares and tell you about their great things. Um, we very much appreciate all of these organizations for their support of this symposium and, and symposiums of the past. Um, I'm going to uh, close my remarks because we've got a very full program. Um, it's my privilege to introduce Phil Sharp, who will give a short opening introduction. Uh, Phil Sharp joined the MIT faculty in 1974 as an assistant professor. And over the last 43 years, he's really been a leading light uh, for science on our campus and a tremendous ambassador for science more broadly. Uh, Phil Sharp is a former direct, uh, director of the Center for Cancer Research, chair of the Department of Biology, director of the McGovern Institute, uh, and a wonderful, wonderful colleague, a true valued, a real gem uh, for all of us on the MIT campus. Um, this also marks uh, a celebration, an anniversary of sorts. Uh, it was just 40 years ago this summer uh, when Sue Burgett, Claire Moore, and Phil Sharp did a rather important experiment uh, using DNA-RNA hybrids looking at the, the processing of messenger RNAs from adenovirus, uh, they recognized that those RNAs were put together in an unusual fashion, uh, which led to a model and then a series of discoveries that proved the concept of mRNA splicing that allowed Phil Sharp and Rich Roberts later, uh, together with him, to win the Nobel Prize in 1993. So, Please uh, join me in welcoming and celebrating this moment, Phil Sharp.